So if you've been keeping up with my channel recently, you've probably seen that I've been reacting to the latest season of My Hero Academia. And in the last episode, that boy Mirio just solidified himself as one of the GOATs of the series. But from what I've seen in the previews and what people have been hyping up is that my boy Midoriya is supposed to go off in the next couple of episodes. And I have been waiting for some Izuku Midoriya, some Deku shine. But the thing is, from recording this, we still have like two more days until the next episode. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but... Uh, uh, I'm a little impatient. I need to see my boy Deku in some action now, so of course we back here again with some Mugen. You guys seem to really enjoy the Mugen video I made yesterday with Jorno versus Dio. You guys left a lot of helpful comments, and you guys told me you wanted more Mugen, and I already was gonna do more, because I'm in love with Mugen right now. That's kind of my thing. So we're back here again, but today, um, you guys can see here that, you know, things are a little bit different, you know? Your boy, your boy did some searching last night, some soul searching, some Mugen soul searching, and uh, we have a new layout, as you can see here. We have the Mugen um, Mega Mix HD Remix. Um, this is just a screen packed. Um, because the thing is, like, I think the last Mugen I did was, like, a pre-made Mugen, I guess. You know, like, it had, like, all the characters. It had, like, all the stages, the screen packs and everything. This Mugen, um, as you can see here, let's, like, let's go to Watch Mode to see some of the roster. Um, the roster is a little bit smaller than the last Mugen, but there's a lot more slots because with this Mugen, um, I actually had to add all the characters myself. I had to add all the stages, the music and everything. Like basically I had to make this Mugen from the ground up. I just used a screen pack right now, like this like kind of like 80s like aesthetic type of deal. So um you can see here we have some of the characters from like the old Mugen. Um I got some new ones like we have Diavolo here. Uh we got the boy Sans. I mean we already we have Sans. Who else do we need but Sans? Um, Zamasu, um, who, who, are? we have Android 21 back here, she's just chilling, baby girl, she just, um, we got Boros, One Punch Man, Escudo, okay, but, you know, you, you know, you know who we have here, you know the vibes, you know, Levi, the boy, okay, but, um, yeah, like I said before, um, this Mugen, I had to basically make from the ground up, so, the roster's not as big as the last one would be, so I, like, it's still a work in progress, but, I think I have all the characters, like, all the core characters, at least, that I, know of that are in Mugen right now or not in Mugen but you know that I kind of want in Mugen um there's still a lot more don't get me wrong but like I couldn't really think last night <laughs> but today of course you know with the title of the episode I keep saying episode because I, I I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep calling these episodes but um we have our boy Deku or you know Izuku Midoriya I personally like calling him Midoriya um I don't really call him Deku that often because I think Midoriya like his real name just sounds a lot cooler um, we were gonna hit have him as a star of the show. Deku versus absolutely everyone here. He's gonna go up against everyone. Midoriya's Mugen is actually really nasty. Like, the damage output for, uh, Midoriya is, like, insane. And actually, as you can see here, I have two Midoriya. So I have this one, and I have this one. I believe this Midoriya contains spoilers. I, I, I think so. I think he has powers that hasn't been introduced yet, so we're not gonna touch that one. Um, we're going to be focusing on this Midori. This Midori, I think, is the one that is right now in the series currently. I think this one has, like, some, I don't know, some some, some stuff that I don't even know. Like, it's some flashy stuff. But, um, you know, maybe when I see it in the anime, we'll continue with this one. But right now, we're going to be focusing on this Midori right here. I'm honestly rooting for Midori. I hope Midori absolutely claps everyone I put him up against. Um, ho hopefully, he doesn't disappoint me because... Uh, I'll probably be sad. Okay, so we got Midoriya versus Gon, and I think this is a pretty fair match because one, they both punch shit. Two, they both have the same personality. They both rock green. I mean, like it has, you know, it has to be the first match, and it already looks like. Okay, never mind. Oh, I was about to say, you know, Deku getting clapped up a little bit, but was that his ulti? Okay, never mind. He just grabbed him. Okay, Midoriya. Yo. Okay, yo. This what I'm saying. Midoriya's damage. Okay, no, I can't be sleeping on Gon's damage though with that Jajunkin. Bio. Uh, Midoriya is, like I said, he's a really solid Mugen. I do think he struggles a little bit with the range game, so if I put him up against anybody with, like, some range, I do feel like he'll struggle uh, kind of a bit. I really like this layout a lot more, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, I like this layout. Okay. <laughs> God damn, he just slammed Gone into the ground. He's just screaming in front of his dead body. Okay, Midoriya, Jesus Christ. But, um, anyways, guys, let me know how you guys like this new, um... Mugen layout. I think it looks a lot cleaner. Okay, so Midoriya got him in the corner. He, he keeps spamming. He, he keeps using the flick of the wrist. Okay, it looks like Midoriya might take this one because Gon is just stuck in the corner right now. Um, I think this is the first time I'm actually seeing Gon's Mugen, actually, because I don't know if Gon can transform into, like, his, his like, adult Nen state. Oh, shit! Wait, okay, he can go full cow. I didn't know this Midoriya can transform. Oh, God, did he just go full cow? Wait, 
Oh, is that his? Okay, that's just his Nen. Okay, never mind. They they showing me all the new stuff. Okay, god damn. Okay, yo, that boy Midoriya is nasty. He went full cow. Gone is dead, bro. All right, this is a little bit of a, a basic, or not basic, but like kind of like a canon one, you know? Midoriya versus his 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 boy Kachan or Bakugo, if you want to call him that. Um, but yeah, um, you know, this is like the ongoing rivalry in the show right now. Um, if Midoriya can't beat Bakugo in Mugen, though, he doesn't deserve to go up against anybody else. It looks like right now that Midoriya is, is okay. Never mind, Bakugo. Yo, let me shut up real quick. Bakugo's doing his damn thing. This is the first time I'm seeing Bakugo's Mugen either, so I'm kind of keeping a close eye on him because he has some pretty nice move sets. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, come on. You know he's pretty agile too. So okay, Midoriya is kicking his ass though right now. I did not know this Midoriya can go into his full cow state because I tried. Oh, was that his ulti? Okay, hold on. Oh shit! Oh god damn! That was his ulti. Oh. So Midoriya actually got hurt. Yo, the amount of detail. You see his arm is like broken now, just like in the anime. That is so cool, bro. Mugen is so, like, uh, yeah, I'm finding new stuff out every time I play this. Or not play it. <laughs> I'm more like I'm watching it because I'm not trying to get my ass beat by the CPU. But yo, I did not even know that Midoriya has an ulti that does that. And like, I, I don't know what this flashing on the screen is. I think that has something to do with Bakugo. A lot of characters do this. Um, Yo, Midoriya just slammed him into the ground again. Yo, I'm... I'm loving Midoriya's Mugen so far. I think he's one of my favorites right now. Um, the funny thing is, um, usually with, with anime characters, because Midoriya is my favorite um, favorite character in My Hero Academia. I know a lot of people like Todoroki and Bakugo, but the funny thing is, is like, I, I've told you guys, oh shit, hold on, hold on, let me shut up. Bakugo's ulti. He actually hit that on him? Okay, Midoriya, yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. Okay, go full cow, yes, go full cow, go full cow. Go sickle mode, go sickle mode. Make a comeback. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. I'm rooting for Midoriya right now. God damn, bro. You really lost against Bakugo like that? Um, okay, so this is the last round. Uh, Midoriya, please. Uh, you got to win against Kachan here because I'm not trying to, you know... P please, bro. God damn. Bakugo's... Bakugo's Mugen is kind of nasty too, I guess. Because, I mean, he can move around a lot. And he kind of has like a projectile slash close range combat. That grab, like that slam does like a lot of damage. Bakugo's damage is... It's all right. It's all right. I think Midoriya's damage is still a lot more, but Bakugo is just landing a lot more hits. But um, what I was saying earlier is that um, Midoriya is my favorite character in My Hero Academia. And like I said before, like Sasuke and Vegeta are my favorite characters in their respective series. Like, usually, I don't know why, like, I tend to like the, the not the side characters, but like the secondary main character. And it's looking like Beku is in the corner right now. Midoriya, and he lost. <sighs> You hate to see it, man. Oh my god. Okay, fine. This fucking I did. I'm kind. Of, I'm. I'm. I'm kind of heated right now. I'm not gonna lie. All right. So this one, um, I'm kind of scared for Midoriya because Saitama's Mugen is some cheese, bro. You will see it here in a minute. Um, I, uh, unless Saitama's gonna, you know, not. Oh god damn, that was a nasty counter though, Saitama. Um, Saitama's Mugen is pretty broken. Um, I think he has a move that can just. Like, kill you in one hit, I believe. I, or or it, may, it might not be this Mugen, but yo. Okay, okay. Honestly, wait. Okay, no, Saitama's damage is, is really, really good. Um, Yeah, Midori is getting clapped up right now in the corner. I mean, they both hit each other. So come, come, come on, Midori. You, you have equal playing field here. I mean, you guys both got, like, some type of rain shockwave type attack. Yeah, charge up. Go full cow, first of all. Midori needs to go full cow. Because right now, he's getting clapped up right now. Okay. Yeah, um, Deku lost again. Well, at least the first round. Okay, Delaware Smash. There we go. Midoriya needs to, to do his ulti again. I don't know, actually know how he does the ulti. I don't know how much meter he does, but like probably max. But he needs to go full cow to stand a chance against Saitama right now. Because Saitama... Okay, he, he keeps falling for those counters, bro. Those hard reads right now. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on, Midoriya. Damn, he got in the corner. Once Saitama gets you in the corner, he, he, keep, he keeps doing those like shock waves and those... Like consecutive series punches or whatever, like it, it's basically over. Okay, it's pretty even right now though. Okay, come on, Midoriya, please, please. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, come on, spam, spam if you have to. You flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist. What are you doing, bro? Oh my God, Midoriya, what? You almost had that round. <laughs> oh my God. You know, I, I went into this Mugen thinking that Midoriya would clap everybody up because I have faith in my boy, my my favorite character of his series. But 
it's not looking too good. So I know there was a lot of people on Twitter kind of memeing this fight, Midoriya versus Tanjiro, because, you know, they're both nice. They probably hug it out with each other. But I'm wondering, what would happen if they both go against each other? Honestly, I feel like Midoriya would probably win because Tanjiro's... I mean, I mean, his breathing style, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not really like a, okay, I'm, I take it back. I take it back. Midoriya is getting clapped up in the corner. Jesus Christ, Tanjiro's damage is actually, holy fuck, Tanjiro. Oh my God. Okay. We might have to have a Tanjiro versus everyone video, guys. What do you think right now? Tanjiro's damage. And he has like, he, he kind of has like a little bit of range with his sword and stuff. Okay, come on, Midoriya. You, you kind of been failing me right now, man. You know, you can't be taking that slander. You already get memed on, memed on enough in the Discord and everything. Jesus. Yo, I don't know if you guys can hear it because I have the volume kind of turned down. But Tanjiro's attacks are like ear rate base boosted, bro. Oh, my God. Dude. Midoriya. Midoriya. Holy shit. You are getting clapped up today, my boy. Tanjiro just gave you the meanest... Meanest peen known to man. Holy shit. Um, I don't really know about this one. Um, we have Midoriya versus Diabolo. Um, personally, I think Diabolo would win just because Diabolo can probably one-shot him. But, I mean, come on, Midoriya. I, I, I'm giving you a chance here, man. I, please, dude. <laughs> Midoriya's only won one fight. Yo, the first fight was so promising against Gon, and then it just went downhill ever since. Please, bro. Also, guys, leave down in the comments below, what do you guys think of My Hero Academia? What do you guys think of the new season so far? I'm actually really excited for the next episodes that are about to come out because Midoriya is supposed to go off. Um, at least that's what the previews have been, you know, showing me. And people have been hyping up. Like, people have been saying that the next episode of My Hero Academia, or, like, the next couple, I should say, because, like, it's probably, like, two or something like that, um, are supposed to literally be the best moments of the series so far. And personally for me, I thought the Midoriya muscular fight was the best one, but... If this one surpasses that, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I, I probably might pass out on camera. I, I actually might just die. But right now, it looks like Midoriya is getting clapped up by Diavolo. He lost the first round. Diavolo's sprite is really cool. Like, the, like they nailed that stuff. Like, the sound effects, too. You hear, like, the time skip sound effect? Like, that's so dope. Man, dude, I, I, I applaud everybody that, like, puts their time and effort into, like, these Mugen sprites and animations. It's, it's absolutely like, insane, dude. I, I am getting very, very sad right now because Midoriya is, he hasn't really done anything, man. Like, I don't know if it's just this sprite, though, like this version of Midoriya, because the other version of Midoriya has, like, insane moves. Like, he can go, like, full cow and all that stuff, and, you know, he, ha he has different stuff, but, like, I think there's some spoilers in that, like like I said before, so I kind of don't want to play with that right now. Um, let me know, though. Um, let me know, guys, uh, if there is spoilers. I, I believe there is spoilers, though, like, so I'm not going to play it, but, um... If I if oh my god, what is that move by Diabolo though? Um, if I put if I would have put that Midoriya in, he probably would have clapped a lot of people up. But it's fine right now. Midoriya, I mean, where he is right now, I mean, shit, dude, he, dude, I'm just sad right now, honestly. <laughs> I, I'm honestly just looking at this and I'm just sad. I just keep seeing Midoriya's health bar just go down and down, and Diabolo just laughing in his face, skipping time and all that stuff. And oh, there it is, another L, another L. Look. <laughs> Yes, Diavolo. He's he, he's trash. And since I kind of mentioned this briefly in the last Mugen episode, I, I I just need to see how this is gonna work. We have Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, probably one of the most OP sprites or Mugens. I I keep saying sprites, but Mugens. Yo, that transformation is really dope. Against Midoriya's current state right now, I'm scared. Midoriya, please do something. You gotta go full cow at least to stand a chance, at least to land a hit or something. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it's over. The damage. It's over. Okay, there we go. Full cow. Okay, Midoriya, let's go. He serious. Serious. We serious now. Okay, you missed that attack. That's fine. Oh my god. This is also a version of Ultra Inst Master Ultra Instinct Goku that can get hit. I have another version where he transforms into Master Ultra Instinct, and like I don't think he can be hit like at all. <laughs> But, um, obviously, we, we need Midori to stand at least a little bit of a chance right now. Um, but it's not looking too good for our boy Deku right now. He is, he is not, he's not looking so good. I mean, honestly, it's, 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 I'm gonna say it's pretty even because, you know, it's pretty one-sided. But, right now, Midori is just not doing it for me, man. He's just not doing, at least this, this Mugen is not doing it for me. Oh, my God. He's, he's in the corner still. Okay. 
Okay. Well, you're dead. Yo, the voice clips for everything. I don't even know how you make it. I wonder if I should make a Mugen. <laughs> I don't even know how to make a Mugen because I'm pretty sure you have to, like, no coding and all that stuff. And uh, my brain is a little small if you don't already know that. Okay, there we go. The Detroit Smash. I like that. Yo, I love how they include, like, his, his arm kind of breaks with that. So, like, I don't really know if he can do it again once his arm breaks. And, like, he takes damage from doing that. And the damage output for the health, eh, it's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, it's it's not it's not looking so good though. Um, Midoriya, his his win loss record for this episode is it's not good. It's it's just not good. And he's supposed to go off in the next couple episodes, so this is not a good look for you, Deku. Jesus. <laughs> but let me know in the comments below again. Um, if you're watching My Hero Academia, um, who is your favorite character? And Midoriya just lost. And there it is, Goku's flexing on him again. Jesus, man. And guys, this is going to be it for this Mugen video again. Um, Midoriya was, was was kind of a disappointment to me, I'm not going to lie. I thought he'd win at least at least like two matches, not just the first one, and then just, just, just lose against everybody else I put him up against. But you hate to see it. I still love you, though, Midoriya. Don't get me wrong. You're still my favorite character. Um, but guys, let me know how you enjoyed this episode. Let me know um, if there's anything else I need to know about Mugen. I, I researched a little bit last night, so I think I have a pretty clear understanding on like, how to add characters and stages and everything. But um, we're just going to keep continuing to add characters into this Mugen. And of course, we're going to be back with um, some more, I guess, you know, series. I guess like ep like character series, if you want to call them. Like, I definitely want to do one with Tanjiro. Um, I might want to do one with, um, what's his name? Uh, Diavolo here, maybe? Possibly? I'm not really too sure. I got some ideas in the making, but, um, anyways, guys, let me know how you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And, um, yeah, it's, it's been your boy, Avery. Um, I'm, I'm kind of sad because he lost still, but I I'm out.